Imagine, it's a random Tuesday. You start your computer and suddenly see you're unable to open or access any files on it. And you're being asked to pay $600 in Bitcoin if you want to get your data back. Scary, right? Well, that's what happened to 200,000 victims in May of 2017, when the ransomware WannaCry targeted regular users. And the same could happen to you. WannaCry is just one out of many malware attacks out there. But there shall be no panic on this channel. Let's learn about malware so we would know how to fight it. Malware is a broad term, actually. It's basically any type of software designed to harm a device, another software, or network. From computer viruses, spyware, and Trojan horses, to bots, rootkit, and worms. Let's take a simple computer virus, for example. Everyone's heard about a virus, right? It's designed to spread from one host to another. If you've ever gotten one of those annoying email chains that urges you to forward it or you'll have bad luck for seven years, it's like that. Except, well, real and a lot more dangerous. So how does malware work? Well, it's quite simple in the end. It infects your device by tricking you into clicking or installing something you shouldn't. You're a smart person. Sure, it's not that easy to trick you. That's what we all think. But hackers are pretty smart too. How many times have you opened a link or scanned a QR code? Well, every time you have, you've risked being infected. Or say you've decided to download a free app. You're in a hurry, you just want to be done, and you're not reading the fine print. Along with the app you wanted, you're also getting some adware for free. Okay, let's say your device got infected. So what, right? Except, well, trust me, it sucks. Like Rootkit. Personally, it's the malware type that keeps me up at night. It allows hackers to take control of your device remotely. Yes, you heard that right. Hackers can control your device without your permission. Here's a horror story. You wake up at 3 a.m. in a cold sweat. You need to find out who was that one actor in that one movie you saw three years ago. You open your phone and you lose control. Apps, websites, even your email starts opening on its own. Someone is controlling your phone, and you can't do anything besides turn it off and hope that hackers haven't done too much damage. But sure, not all malware is like that. Let's take spyware as an example. It allows hackers to, well, literally spy on your searches or even look at you through your device's camera. Nothing to worry about, right? There's also adware, which is, you guessed it, full of ads. Not the worst, but it's annoying. Ads that pop up and you cannot close them, and they're usually infected with even more malware. So it's like a malware sandwich. A malware sandware? Either way, it's not very delicious. Okay, I get it. You're not here to learn about all the different kinds of malware, since that would take hours, maybe days. You're here to find a solution. So let's think, what can you do? move to the middle of the woods, never use any electronic devices in your life and live happily as a hermit? Or you can get an antivirus. It's not the perfect solution, nothing is, but it's the best you can do. And plug alert, Surfshark has an antivirus you can try out. Just putting it out there. Still, getting an antivirus after you've been infected is much like going to the doctor after you broke your leg. It's your best bet, but you might have been able to prevent it in the first place. So, how do you keep your metaphorical bones intact? First things first, avoid links if you don't know where they lead to exactly. Have you ever been brickrolled? A friend sends you a link claiming you have to see this, you click on it, and you hear those five words you've heard a million times before. Come on, clicking random links? You know the rules and so do I. It's Internet Safety 101. Fine, you get it. What's next? Be wary of free apps. You don't know what they're trying to push on you and what other software they might be hiding inside. And really, just be aware that the internet has threats on every corner. And that's malware. Not all of it, of course. Malware is endless and scary, but it's there, so it's best to know how to recognize it as it's likely you'll encounter it one day. Or maybe you already have? If so, leave your story in the comments below. I also want to remind you that we have a second channel you can check out, and it's called Surfshark Academy. 
My colleague Vidas talks about VPNs, provides Surfshark product updates, tutorials, and does all sorts of fun product-related stuff there. So make sure to give that channel some love too.